All right, everybody, this is John, and welcome to the free video. And let's just dive right in. First, let's take a look at the queues from Friday to Monday. Of course, we've had the kind of a, a, a two-day sell-off, a bounce, and then uh, the big kind of sell-off based on the new COVID variant. But then today, we were up and on high volume, and it's kind of like, oh, there's no more variant anymore. So the big thing to know about this is the market hates surprises, but it deals very, very well with the known. Okay, The first time uh, COVID hit and there was lockdown in March 2020, this was a new thing for the markets. And it didn't know what to do, and it dropped 40% amidst the uncertainty of what was going to happen. Okay, Guess what? Now that new variants are coming out, there was Delta, and now it's Omicron, and there'll be more. And you know, this is something we're going to have probably for the next 10 years. The market's already factored it in. Okay, so just just beware that the idea that the market's going to fall because of COVID uh, ain't going to happen. It's going to fall based on other things where you know no one else is left to buy and stuff like that. And we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But for now, what I'm looking at is that we do rally into the end of the year. It doesn't mean that every day is going to be straight up. Uh, I think, er, you know, once we get into January, we're going to have to be cautious and look at some potential selling signs. But for now, the path of least resistance continues to be higher. OK, we've got all the 10x bars across all the time frames, bullish or neutral. Monthly is bullish. Weekly is bullish. Four day, three day, two day daily charts all the way down. We've got squeezes on the daily and the four hour, uh, which are setting up. And you can see the daily here. And it's, you know, it's going to be pretty pretty uh and, and especially too we had a lot of people short on friday and they're just getting decimated so all of that is a recipe for a rally into the end of the year okay last but not least if you are wondering kind of what these tools are so these are this is called the multiple squeeze tool this is the multiple you know histogram tool based on each time frame so you can look at 18 time frames at a glance know which ones have a squeeze know whether that squeeze is bullish or bearish without having to go look at the chart and then over here we've got the 10x bars uh, again across 18 time frames green is extremely bullish as it is here yellow is neutral and red is bearish and again you can see it across all time frames uh, this tool here tells you about okay uh, over the last 10 years uh, the, the average, the, there's been 34 red squeezes that have fired long, 30 that have fired short. The average move is six bars, and the average move is 2.14% or $8.57, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm going to go through and talk about all these tools, why I've set the chart up like this, and what to expect for not only the rest of the year, but into next year as well. So if you go to simplertrading.com forward slash time, that will take you to this page. Uh, and on this page here, uh, basically, if you just put in your name, your email, register, you'll get the link to attend the webinar. So we're going to be talking about, well, we'll talk about all this. I mean, you guys can go there and read this. But but really, it's just kind of looking for, you know, where are the high confidence setups in this environment, right, when it kind of maybe doesn't make sense all the time. But more importantly, just kind of knowing when to stay out. You know, there's, there's times to keep your hand on your wallet. And the way I've got these charts set up, it tells you all of that at a glance, all right? And so we're going to talk about that. All right, that's what I got. You guys have a fantastic rest of the night, and I'll see you at the next update. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me